Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about getting yourself ready for a season change. Now, you can notice this in the weather, right? Because the trade winds change. This has been relied on by trade routes and ships for eons, you know, hundreds of years. But what about for us? How do we deal with the fluctuations and energies that are pushing us to get things going or get things set up for our next season? Well, you have to do it through your body. And that's exactly what I teach. I teach how to do your grid work, how to reset things, how to unplug things, how to elevate things so that you can have an elevated experience. Now, it's not rocket science, but it does mean that you actually have to BYOB, bring your own body. Okay, what's that? There's no crying in Twin Flames. Well, actually, there's a lot of crying in Twin Flames <laughs> because it'll feel like it's Mercury retrograde and then it's a full moon, then it's a new moon, then it's, you know, now it's Pluto retrograde. Now it's going to be a lunar eclipse. Now it's going to be an equinox. Yeah, it is. And the energy will get pushier and pushier if you are not making changes. Now, here's the thing. Your higher self knows what you're capable of at any given moment. But your higher self also knows you're capable of a little more than you may be doing. So, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know what this reminds me of? Did you ever learn how to ski and they have the bunny hill? Or what, you know, it was like the beginner's hill. And my childhood, teenage years, when I learned it was called the bunny hill. They had this like cable that would just keep going and going and you kind of grabbed on and the first couple times you fell flat on your face until you learned how to grip it just right and ride along with it. That's what you have to do in some of these energies. You got to know what to hang on to, what to discard. What are you actually letting go of? Okay, what do you need to let go of? So let me give you an example of something. I had someone who I had worked with and fairly on the young side, and I hadn't heard from her really for two years. And I always wonder about people. I kind of worry a little bit about them because literally people have gotten in accidents, been in the hospital, died. And I was hoping none of those things had happened. And then I heard from her what seemed like out of the blue. Well, she was ready to resume doing some of the work. But there were a lot of things going on. There were a lot of things to unpack. But during that time, she was working on her degree. Fair enough. You can only, you can only fragment yourself so, self, so much. You can only devote yourself to so much at any given time, which is why we need to not only learn to say no to things. This is more than people pleasing. It's sometimes being able to say, not yet, thank you, but not yet. Or I just can't put another thing on my plate. No, thank you, but no thank you. It means that you're capable of judiciously putting your energy where it is best utilized, okay? Because this is your love energy. And like a lot of you, you may have been having your twin flame drain out a lot of your energy. And you're sitting there feeling flat out, on the verge of being sick, chronic illness, like the whole kit and caboodle. And yet you are not learning how to really take back your own energy. It makes you angry. It makes you frustrated. It makes you upset. And if you're a woman, you're seeing a lot of misogynistic woman hating things around. And we can rise above this. Okay, here's a crazy thing that people always forget. The men, they've been women in other lives. Can't tell them that they may or may not remember. Some men love women. Some men just want to play with women, right? So those that truly do, okay, we have to recapture our divine feminine energy for our own utilization and our greatest good because that's what's going to steer stuff, okay? It's not going to be, we have to very almost unobtrusively be like, I'm going to take that back and I'm going to take that back and I'm going to take that back. Thank you very much. I'm setting my energetic boundaries and I've got to go. How do you do this? Well, you do part of it by learning your body and learning your grid work. 
you're not doing the work if you're just watching like some card throw. I'm just going to say that. I don't want to criticize it. I know for some of you, you need that kind of encouragement. Your encouragement and your energy and the love energy needs to come from your higher self infused right into you and support you on a daily basis. Not looking to the rest of the world for like those little platitudes like, yeah, they're good. I mean, some of it's like really good. It should be coming from the inside out in the form of song lyrics that just speak to you and give you your personal message for the day. That's what I'm talking about, about doing your part in the greater scheme of things so that it benefits you. And give up your Quan, Quan, uh, give up your Quan Yin vow of foregoing your own enlightenment in favor of everyone else. That's a mistake that people make. They leave themselves hanging and it's just so not necessary. Okay. So how do you do this? Like really, how do you do it? Well, the very first thing I'm going to say is make a decision to do it. Make a decision to use your body. And I'm talking about your light body. Make a decision that there may be things that you have to do on a daily basis. Make a decision that you are on the mission. Make a decision that you're devoted to your own ascension and that you will do whatever it takes. Because here's the thing, it may seem insurmountable only to find that your higher self is telling you, just go to the forest and walk the path. And I will refresh you and like, you know, bring things to you. Why? Because if you're sitting in a meeting, it's going to sound like a faucet dripping. Beep, beep, beep. If you're out in the forest and you hear the trickle of a stream and you have, you get out of yourself, you get reconnected with nature and you really can glean what is supposed to come to you. What are your next steps? What are the baby steps you need to take? What is the one teeny tiny baby step you need to do? Okay. Now, a lot of people, we're very accustomed to using our minds that have been working it in duality. You can't do that anymore. You have to have that, you know, lovely, there's you, there's your twin flame, and there's your higher selves. And that's where you're merged. What does your merged selves have to say to you? What is the message for you? So I want to give you an example. This young lady, it was great to work with her again. And it was very humble because people have been coming and saying, I remember this thing you said in a video. And I was like, wow, that's great. Um, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work again, right? So here's what's happening right now. The work visa is coming through. She was able to lease a brand new apartment. Parents are coming to visit. People are, are around her are helping. Like she was able to find someone who would help with um, some meal prep, which kind of took something off her plate. This is a part of saying no. It's not what are you putting on your plate? What can you delegate? What what can you how can you put another angel to work who loves doing what they do? OK, I'll give you an example. We're not all supposed to you know, do every little thing. Like you're not supposed to be your car mechanic. People had to do that stuff years ago. Okay. But that doesn't put other people or their businesses to work or even on a small scale. Think of an elder person who really can't go out and get a job, but they can still work. Right. So how do we, you know, find that one angel? It's through your light body. Okay. How do you find that person to fix the air conditioning? where it's not costing you thousands of dollars, okay? It's when you're in this higher vibration that your higher self sends you the angels that you need. I'm the person that gets you there. I'm the person that helps you with your activations, your light body, unplugging from the old stuff, setting energetic boundaries. And we do this through clearing parts of you, like clearing your root chakra, Clearing your crown, clearing your hara, clearing your sacral. Because there's a lot of stuff trapped in there. All kinds of stuff is trapped in there. I actually made a chart about it. There is so much stuff. And I use that chart as a teaching tool in my webinars and in my classes and workshops. 
It's in my books too. So do you want a new life? Are you feeling the nudge towards a new life? Are you ready to graduate? So like we're in this brand new energy of like time for school to start. Are you thinking you need a back to school boot camp? Well, please join my workshops. Please join my webinars. Okay. I would see this. I, I was amazed to see how much progress was made. Truly, how much energetic progress was made by her just doing the work that the instructions just follow the instructions. And the instructions are things that I've been guided to. And this is this is a part of how we disentangle from the wrong soulmates, the ones that would drag us down, be our downfall. Like, don't ever let anyone be your downfall ever again. How do you get rid of these false twins? Okay. Yeah. Many people have a hard time with that. They really do. Many people have a hard time leaving a job. But what if it feels like the best natural transition ever? And it feels like you've transformed. And even better, it feels like you've grown and you're graduating and you're ready for more. You're like actually capable. Why? Because your heart energy can hold it now. And that's the difference. The difference isn't white knuckling or leaving because you just can't take it. Okay. So I highly recommend my books. The links are below and check out my brand new website. There's a lot on there about what I'm capable of doing and helping people with. And that includes healing. That includes a lot of healing. If you don't think relationships are something you need to heal from, you're just wrong and you're going to find out. But I want you to find out what can be done. How do we you know, glean what we need so that we're not just surviving, we are thriving truly in the truest sense of the word and beginning our new lives. Do you want a new season? Okay. Find out why you're reacting. Okay. Stop reacting and start responding. That's the best thing I could say about this energy. Don't fall into karma habits. Karma has been a habit. We all know how to play the game. Some people are real masters at it and other people, they're just, I mean, they're just not. They're like, I missed that day in class. I'm here to be with my true love. And if you're losing sight of that, that you're here to arrange your life so that it's easy when you're with your true love and not view it through the lens of they are taking all my energy and I'm left flat out, okay? It's time to get started then. And I mean that quite sincerely. It's This is new. So, I mean, people aren't really out there. I mean, they're telling you like, hey, you know, live your best life. You know, maybe you're not even understanding how to get that first step. That's why I'm here. That's what I'm here to help you with. So, I hope you have a good day. Please look at the links below. Check out my new website. And I hope to see you there. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.